In this question we have an airplane traveling at a velocity of 450 kilometers per hour in a direction south 20 degrees east encountering a wind with a velocity of 140 kilometers per hour in a direction north 40 degrees east. We want to know the ground velocity of the airplane. What we're doing here is we're looking for the resultant vector. So we draw our diagram as best we can. We have a plane traveling 450 kilometers per hour in a direction south 20 degrees east. And that means we have a 20 degree angle right here. 20 degrees. We also have a wind. We go um, tip to tail and we have a wind going at 40 north 40 degrees east so we put a 40 degree angle here and then we realize that we can use the Z pattern uh, this vertical line is parallel with this vertical line so using the Z pattern this 20 degree angle will be equivalent to this 20 degree angle and what that does is it creates for us obviously a 60 degree angle so we can then um, consider our magnitude of 450, our magnitude of 140, and use the cosine law to get the magnitude of this resultant blue vector. Using the cosine law, we see that r squared equals 159,100 such that r is approximately equal uh, magnitude wise excuse me it, to 398.9 kilometers per hour we were asked for a velocity though which means we need direction which means we need an angle what we're going to do is look for the angle right here if we can find that angle, then what we can do is add it to the 20 degrees that we're already traveling uh, east of south and um, we'll have an appropriate direction for our airplane. So we um, consider the sine law in this triangle. We see that the sine of 60 degrees over 398.9 60 degrees and 398.9 is approximately equal to the sine of theta we'll call this theta over 140 we then do some arithmetic and we see that the sine of theta is approximately 0 0.3039 which means theta is approximately 17.7 degrees we can go back then and say that our airplane is actually traveling south 37.7 degrees uh, east and so we can say the ground velocity of the airplane is magnitude coupled with direction